Okay, so scripting with Lua. Lua is an implementation of a standard Lua 5.2 five on top of the beam. Uh, Lua is a powerful, efficient, lightweight embedded scripting language common in game, machine learning, lab devices, and scientific computing research. It supports procedural programming, object-oriented, functional, data-driven programming, and data description as well. So, how many of you know about Lua? Okay, that's great. How many of you have used it? Okay, <laughs> that's quite a difference, but it's great also. Uh, oh, sorry, so let's talk a little bit about Lua. Lua was born of, out of a necessary. Uh, at the, at, in the 90s, in, in Brazil, they, were, uh, they couldn't spend much money buying technology, so they had to make it themselves. So Lua was created by, uh, and I might say this uh, kind of differently, their last names, but Roberto Leruzelinski, Luis Enrique Figueiredo, uh, and Waldemar Salas, and the Political Catholic University of Rio de Janeiro. Lua is explicitly designed as an scripting language to be embedded into application, which means that aims to uh, control controlled some other applications instead of being dynamic language. Uh, it's originally influenced by TCL, Modula, Snowball, ACK, SNSS tier rates, Lisp with their single data structure mechanisms, and a scheme uh, with the first class functions with lexical scope, which means closures. Uh, am I? Yeah, I. Um, Lua is an embedded system, meaning it's not a standalone package, but, but it's a library that links to other applications to extend them. The ability to use it as a library is what makes Lua an extension language, and Lua can register new functions in the environment such as such functions implemented in C. Uh, um, there's two views of Lua, the extension language and the extensive language. Uh, the first one, C is the application language and Lua is the library. And the second kind, Lua is the application language and C uh, and then C is a library, <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, both of them use the same API, which is called the C API. Lua programs are not interpreted directly from the source code. They are compiled into bytecode, which runs into the Lua virtual machine. And this is done in perform during performance runtime. Some uses of Lua, uh, well, it is quite famous in the game industry, also in embedded systems as well, uh, like routers and mobiles. It's also in uh, scripting applications, like Wikipedia or VLC. Um, it is popular in systems in infra infrastructure like Nginx or Asterix and web development as well with OpenRST and Lapis, uh, image manipulation with the double Lightroom and deep learning with Torch or A API getaways with Khan. Um, so moving on, let, let's talk a, a little bit about Airline. 
Erlang language is a concurrent function language which runs on its own scalable, distributed, fault-tolerant, and soft-real high-availability VM called the BIM. It's a multilingual from the start. The Erlang ecosystem with, the, with its languages is built around on the BIM and the Erlang language OTP framework. You can see it as a layer, <laughs> uh, a big layer of Erlang in a really a skin layer at top of it. Uh, with, it's going to be the OTP framework. And at the top, you can add certain languages and you can talk uh, and communicate with each other. And these other languages that you can add on top of it are Erlang as well. You can also add LFE, Elixir, or Luer, and which are the most common. And there's some others there as well. The bin also has uh, internal properties that you don't need to really get worry about it, but you do have them always. It is lightweight, massive concurrency, asynchronous communication, process isolation, error handling, hot code replacement, support and support for introspection and monitoring. And there's also some external properties that you can actually see them. And with those you have immutable data, pattern matching, functional language, predefined set of data types, modules, and no global data. Some uses of Erlang, well, Erlang is not just for telecom, it's not just a telecom language, it's been used in web development as well with Cowboy, that's a web server. Uh, it's been used in communication systems like WhatsApp or Mongoose <coughs> AM. Um, operations and monitoring, message blockers, and a very popular uh, cluster database like React or Amazon SimpleDB. So, why Luer, right? Well, <laughs> Ruel likes to implement the languages on top of the beam. So, <laughs> but Luer really has really good features. Uh, it allows you to fast switch between Lua and Luer, introducing a new way to <coughs> use small bits of logic, programming Lua instead of Erlang, which means that Programs can, programs can be written in the least, at the least in two languages, which is Lua and Erlang. And you can also communicate with the others that I just said, uh, like Elixir or LFI, LFI, I'm sorry. And the system language implements, of course, the hard parts of the application, algorithm, algorithms, data structures, and there's a little change at this level, because um, Lua, Lua has a C API, but we don't need this in Lua. We have Erlang, so we have an Erlang API here. And also, we do use uh, the feature of Lua about scripting to glue the hard parts in a flexible level easy to change. And as, uh, as I was saying, since we do have Erlang here, we have a million of processes that can represent and, and can run millions of Lua processes concurrently and par in, in parallel, which it's that that's why it's famous Erlang, right? <laughs> yeah. But I know it in coroutines. 
since we do have erlang here, we don't need coroutines because we do need because we do have presses here. Uh, okay, so uses of Lord. Lords, it's been used in a several of open source projects around the world, including including games, epic. A API gateways and which is our case in nonsense a StarCraft AI bot but all good language has its trade-off and it depends of the way that you see they might not be trade-offs at all you just need to use the right tools for the right job so for example Lua is not good for concurrency and multi-core parallelisms. The standard library is not very large, and you kind of need to do it yourself, because it only gives you a set of tools. It doesn't give you an, a specific. Uh, it's not built for a specific to, uh, tasks, but uh, it's my point of view that that's not even a bad thing, that's, that's really a great thing. Uh, Erlang is not good for heavy number crushing, global share, mutable, mutable state, a scripting, yeah, but <laughs> a script is, is not quite good. Um, the goal of Lord was to, the, it was to uh, implement correctly the Lua language on top of the beam. It should, and, and this should look and behave the same as Lua. It should include the standards libraries and it should interface with Erlang. Lua is a complete re-implementation of the Lua language on top of the beam. And it does, and as I said before, it does not have the C API, and as a result of this implementation, we do have uh, a successful uh, implementation here. But uh, except of go to env and coroutines, um, because they do not match uh, the the features of of lore. I'm sorry, of Erlang. And it also has great integration between Erlang and friends. As I said before, you can also talk with Elixir and, and LFA if you wanted to. The result of the implementation, we have functions well, as the result of the implementation, I'm sorry, we have functions, modules, string manipulation, table mechanisms, math functions, bitwise operations, and a few input and output in OS facilities. It is extendable if required to call Lua from England and straightforward to call Erlang from Lua. And then again, we don't have the C API. Uh, regarding the VMM compiler, we do have a relative straightforward VM, similar but not the same as the standard Lua one. The compiler optimizes the environment handling, <coughs> separates pure local environment of blocks and functions from the global env, Lots of unnecessary information, meaning that we have a very basic uh, error messages, but I believe that's in the pipeline for the future. So, regarding data types, we do have uh, nil, which is the atom nil. We have booleans, which is which are the atom boolean. Strings will become string binaries. Numbers are floats, tables are hash tables. Uh, for keys, we have one till n. 
and hash dex for the rest. We do have functions uh, which are hash functions or funds. The main difficulty of Lua implementation was the need of the impl uh, was the need of the of the <laughs> to implement them. Sorry, uh, mutable data with Ireland's immutable da local data. We keep all Lua state in one data structure explicitly threaded through everything. This threading stuff is what you typically do in Erlang anyway. Robert implemented Lua's own uh, garbage collection on top of Ireland's co collector for Lua state. We have a very small community, but I believe it's, it keeps growing and Lua embraced both of, uh, of the languages, Lua and Ireland. They do have, uh, they do are simple, diverse, and complementary with each other. And of course, uh, they are language ecosystems. Uh, I will encourage you to look up the, the GitHub uh, for this, and also in the GitHub you will find a couple of demos. There, I can show you. Uh, let me see if I. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, I will show you both of uh, of the demos you can find in in the and the GitHub. So the first one is really simple. It is just uh, hello here. And the first one, the first line, it's, uh, it's a function call. The second one, it's a file uh, call. Rem remember that I said that uh, we do have some input and output implementation and the third one is a Lua shank. And also, uh, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm in the, yes. Okay, so in this one, which is, which, yeah, which is the famous, oh, I'm sorry, uh -huh. chips from Robert. Uh, each of one of these dots, it's a single Lua, um, it's a single Lua node here, so we do have uh, uh, we do have our uh, millions of millions of processes <laughs> happening, and this is about uh, they are uh, killing themselves, and I encourage you to look at these uh, demos and also try to uh, make one y yourselves and to, I don't know, have fun with Luar because it's, it's really fun. And um, uh, that's, that's, yeah. And yeah, that's that's it. <laughs>